Okay, well, we should be live. There should be some sound coming through. We should be doing another lot of painting. And uh, I'm not alone. Um, <laughs> uh, I'm not doing the painting, though. Um, it's David, me again. Yeah, David's going <laughs> to do the painting. I'm going to do the talking and try not to distract him too much. That's no guarantee that that's going to happen. Uh, no. uh, but first, I have to watch an ad on my own channel. Yay! So, yeah, look at that. It's a car and good, it's skippable. Oh, <laughs> I'm going to put a poll up here. Don't worry about the sound, the sound will improve. I'm just standing in the wrong place to actually have the sound work, and it's a very small room, um, so it'll it'll get better. For those of you who are like, oh, Fred, the sound's awful. Don't worry, it will improve. Okay, so let's. Um, <laughs> it's my holiday. Okay, I'm allowed to I'm allowed to hang out and do um, things not necessarily perfectly. <laughs> anyway, all right, I'm going to unplug the uh, headphones because that's not going to be helpful at all. Get rid of them, and then we're just about ready to get started. <laughs> Okay, are you ready? Yep. Okay, let's do this. Okay. Hi, welcome to How to D&D. My name is Fred Wheeler and... Um, I am David. That's right. Uh, more importantly, David's going to be doing most of the work today because <laughs> <laughs> we're not really... Well, we're going to talk about Dungeons and Dragons and stuff. I thought we would talk about Spelljammer while David paints the Nightwalker. Sweet. For those of you who are still wondering why the Nightwalker is not black... If all we needed to do was just paint the thing black, we could just dip it in black paint and be done. Yeah. Okay, that's kind of beside the point. So the don't expect it to be completely black. There'll be other things going on here. Okay, all right, so we're into it now. I will change position. So what's the, uh, oh, what is the plan for today, David? It's just working, blending the colours again, but I'm going to add a little bit of turquoise in today. I'm going to give it a bit more. Something something from... He's holding his hand up and I feel like it's something... He must be holding some kind of energy of some sort. So I'm going to do that and have the energy glowing onto him with some turquoises. All right, okay. So while you're doing that, I thought we might talk about Spelljammer because there's a, there's a box set that's been released for Dungeons & Dragons 5e. And since you have actually played in a Spelljammer campaign with me... The, sp the space one? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Yeah, yeah. That. So that was actually Spelljammer. But that was 4E, eh? That was, yeah, Dungeons & Dragons 4E rather than uh, 5E. For those of you who are wondering, oh, do they actually have, like, Spelljammer for 4E? You don't need to worry about that. You can you can figure it out yourself. It's not that hard. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, yeah, but they they released a, a new um, box set. There are three books in this thing, uh, one for sort of the player and the Dungeon Master, so player options and then Dungeon Master stuff. And then there's another book that is... Uh, got monsters in it basically it's some, like a monster manual cool and I think that's Boo's um, Menagerie um, whatever the heck yeah something like that and then um, the Light of Zaraxxus which is the adventure which is a sort of a spell jammer adventure so there's three books and each book is 64 pages which comes to a grand total of bugger all pages in total <laughs> uh, sounds wonderful yeah, well, <laughs> yeah. So, so they've got um, some really interesting and odd uh, monsters in this thing, and I thought we'd talk about the monsters first because I like monsters, and you're painting a monster. I, I also like monsters. So we are having a discussion too before I start talking about Spelljammer. That, like, what happens once I finish my holiday? Yeah, 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 and, yeah. Right. So, with the plan we've just and just and dis well, the, the plan so far is what, David. Um, I'm going to make some, um, they'll be um, sort of, I'm going to, so Fred's going to give me a bunch of cool miniatures, which makes me happy, and I'm going to paint them, which also makes me happy. And then I'm going to send the finished product videos to Fred and he's going to post them up so people can see what they look like. And you're also going to put up a, a short. On my, or, um, my, um, my own YouTube channel, and I'll link it, I can link it to you. Yeah. If you want. Link you the link you the link. Yeah, yeah, link link me the link. Now do you what's the name of your channel? Because I mean it's a pretty pretty young channel and you've you've only put a little bit of stuff up there, but you do a lot of other stuff as well, not just Yeah, I do cars and, and all sorts of stuff model cars and all sorts of stuff. So um it's called Replicator because I was replicating people's cars at the time. Right. So but now because I'm doing everything. Everything. I'm gonna have to come up with a new name for it. But for now that's what it is until I come up with a better name because at the moment the better names are coming from mum, which is just, it's not, you know, yeah. It's, time will come. The time will come and you'll get your name right. Well, I can't, um, yeah, I haven't thought about it. That's the problem. Mm -hmm. 
I haven't thought about it. And, yeah. um, and um, you know, yeah, I, I need to, I don't know, think of something cool. That's right. And think when, of something cool. When something comes that sort of works and nobody else is using it, then that's the one it'll be. That's right. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> How's it going overboard? Hi, Joe. Fred, I'm mad at you. You're mad? Why is he mad at me, man? I didn't, what did I do? What did I say? I, 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 we got into trouble um, already. I won't say why we got into trouble, but we got in trouble yesterday for our live stream with, um, yeah. So that, that's all about, we've got to try to be very, very careful about what we'd say this time around. It wasn't the turtles. No, 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 it wasn't just the turtles. The turtles okay. scared people off. Don't know. It was other, the other thing that we just talked about before, that we, we can't say anything about family. No. No more. No more. We will not say things. Okay. Um, so, no more family talk. what have you got here? You have the only miniature I don't own. Really, Joe? You've got to be kidding. My local hobby store um, sold out before I could grab it. Ah, and well, it's still available on Amazon. I believe there was at least one left when I looked at the link. But then again, Amazon's pretty expensive for me, so I would never buy from Amazon. I actually had to buy it from a game store, um, Vagabonds in Takapuna, Auckland. Oof. And that was a while back. And they're not cheap. No, they're not they're cheap. Not cheap. Not cheap at all. Um, so, yeah, I, I know a lot of these Nolz's, um miniatures are actually getting harder and harder to grab. Now they've still got those got these wire frames. So that's all assembly. You could assemble the whole thing. It's all in parts. You could. Have... Well, you might as well just flip and buy resin models then. But, well, not only that. It's the same same process, really. Yeah. Yeah. You got to file it all down. You got to assemble it all. You got to paint it, and the price, the price matches the complexity of the uh, miniature. We're getting into Citadel miniatures mm. territory. Uh, I think much worse than that. Uh, <laughs> just, that's when I'll just go onto Etsy and AliExpress and just buy um, other people's versions of the same thing. Yeah. For for a fraction of the price and. Usually a better quality sculpt. Yeah, so it's it's not it's not great. I, I won't touch the wireframes that um that Wiz kids are putting out for um the Knowles's line or whatever the line it is. I mean who cares what the line is? But uh, yeah, <laughs> they're too much. Um, and frankly, a lot of the miniatures that uh, I've been buying that aren't the wireframe these ones they're, they're, I'm probably still paying too much for these miniatures. But I'm in New Zealand, so that's there's no choice. That's just how it is. Um, okay, so there is a whole bunch of different monsters in this new Spelljammer book, um, Booze Menagerie or whatever the heck it is. And would you believe it, there are space clowns. What do they do? Well, what do clowns do, do you think, David? What do they have in relevance to a, um, a mission, though, like a, an adventure? I think they are kind of like um, bandits or performers um, that get up to trouble. So imagine. Oh, okay, like a sort of it could be mercenaries even. I th there's a movie called um, a t is it um, Space Clowns or Attack of the Killer Space Clowns or so something like that. It's a really <laughs> it's a really bad movie, but I think that's where the concept comes from. Uh, it sounds bad, but yeah, cool. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Byron Lee, what do you got here? I have only uh, recently started using minis in games. Oh, okay. Byron, that's fine. I um, That's actually how I kind of discovered Dungeons & Dragons was I found some pewter miniatures in a book um, store in a tiny little basket. I think there was like um, three or four blisters. Once upon a time, a fairy tale. Well, when I was <laughs> very young um, and I had a little bit of money and so I bought, actually, no, I didn't have any money. I asked my grandmother if I could have them, and she bought them for me because I didn't have any money. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's lovely. Yeah, wasn't it? Yeah. So, um, and then I managed to get high on Humbrol paints, um, <laughs> trying to paint them. <laughs> um, I'm not exactly used to using them, um, but I'm trying to, hand, to handle it. No, fair enough. I find it difficult. What are you trying to do here today, anyway? Just blending colours. It's just it's just wet blending, working my way up into the lights from the darks, and then uh, creating a glow effect from his hand. Okay. Um, I'll be doing that with the turquoise colours, um, and lightening those up and causing reflections onto him. Okay. From his hand. Um, but yeah, it's just a lot of area to cover, eh? So it's it's, it's um, a little bit monotonous on the on the um, blocking things out. Right. Because I'm sort of blocking in the colours. Right. It's starting to get there, though. It's starting to come through. Right. Well, I won't distract you too much from but I would, would like you, as you're painting, to let me know what paints are you blending. Blue. 
<laughs> Ultra, Ultramarine blue. Uh, just that one? And um, I'm using my Inktense um, blue ink as well. Okay. And white. And white. Yep, just pure white. And is that a tu- turquoise colour you've got there waiting for later? Yes. Game colour. Uh, Vallejo game colour. Turquoise. Okay. Cool, yep. cool. All right. Got it. Uh, M14. How's it going? So what do these guys do other than look uh, impressed at, uh, at the view during the, <laughs> the long nighttime walks? <laughs> I don't know. I have no idea. Um, well, here's the problem with Wizards of the Coast is when they give you um, fluff or lore on a monster, the Nightwalker, they manage to offer pretty much nothing. <laughs> should write something, eh? Because they're really cool. They are really cool. I think you'd have to go to AJ Pickett and check out his channel. Um, if I looked up the Night Walker in one of the older books, it would probably have a lot more. The newer book didn't have much. I looked a little bit online at what Google was saying about them. Yep. Um, and I don't. This is I don't know if this was was it of the coast. Maybe someone's writing about it. But um, they 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 um, they're terrifying. Apparently, you just it's something you do not want to encounter in a game. Um, they will kick your ass. <laughs> uh, yeah. Keeping but, it simple. Yeah, keeping it simple. Right. But yes, they, they are they a are, um, nasty piece of work. So this new book on Spelljammer, uh, it also includes flying pigs. Um, space swine, I believe they are. Space, that's what the pigs are called? The, yes, space, space swine. I think oh, it's space swine, yes. Swine okay. as, yep. in, as in pig. As a pig, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah oink, oink. Yep. That one. Um, so, Why? <laughs> it's a good question. Uh, they give you no fluff on a Nightwalker, but they'll give you a space pig and, and some clowns in space as well. That's right. Uh, is there good fluff for them too? Or no, I don't know about that. No, not really. Uh, um, fluff, fluff is some um, underrated. <laughs> fluff is underrated. Holy, so, so do you see that, David? Agile Monk is just um, throwing us a, 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 a that's a super sticker, a fifty dollar super sticker. Holy Toledo. Thank you so much. Wow. Is that was that was that because of the um the, the pigs? I don't, I don't <laughs> or know. The clown. <laughs> or, or are we the clowns? We are the clowns. We are the, yeah, clowns. We are the clowns. Yeah. <laughs> Bring on the clowns. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, thank you, Edgel Monk. Thank hey, you so much. That is that is a lot yeah. of money. Um, and that's like real money. Like that's American money, not New Zealand oh, funny money. Oh wow. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 So yeah. <laughs> like that's that, that's that's there's actually something behind that. Yes. Yes. Yeah, yes. There, there might you might better find some gold associated with that currency. Yeah. 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 It's yeah. not a tinker toy. No, it's not a tinker toy. <laughs> Which yeah. Is what you call New Zealand currency. Yeah, which would be what rocks um, painted gold, basically. Yes. <laughs> Space swine. Space swine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, so that's not the only thing they've got in there. Space swine is one thing, but they've got astral guppies. <laughs> <laughs> what? I knew you would laugh. <laughs> You're saving the funniest. You're just working your way into cracking me up. I'm going straight for the throat, mate. <laughs> I'm going straight for yeah, space guppies. So basically, just fish that swim around in astral space. Those things. All I think about is that's something you want. That's fluff. Mm. These are fluff things. They're fluffy things that you want to have lots of um, backstory for. Um, yeah, they might as well have rabbits and and, and porcupines. Hedgehogs, everything. Well, apparently. But yep. stories, though. They need to have a story. Yeah, with a story. There's not much. I didn't see a lot of lore in that uh, new book for Space Jammer. The, the stat blocks are huge. That's all the maths behind it. But other than that, not, not a lot of lore. Um, and, in fact, some of the lore looks like it's a description of the image when they actually have a picture of the thing in the first place. <laughs> you see the funny side of that one? Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know. I see the funny side of that. I'm not that impressed, though. No. Um, what do you got here, Agile Monk? Uh, miniatures, even on a hex or square mat, uh, can really add some visual stimulation and stimulation-wise to the game. Absolutely. Which is why I still use miniatures when I'm playing online. I don't use a virtual tabletop. That's cool. I know. I like. Well, I'm. Yeah, you know, I love miniatures. I love the miniatures. They really are cool. Yep, absolutely. I agree. Um, M14. Space whale. Oh, yes, space whales. Really? Yeah, there are space whales in the book. You know, Do you remember Fantasia? Oh, I haven't actually seen Fantasia. 
But 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 um but yes, I do know what you're talking about. Yeah, I do know what you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, it's kind of like that. It was a it was a Disney space opera. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Um, that's pretty cool. I, I like the idea of space whales, but I do also kind of feel like um, the creative element is being consists of let us take, as you said, any animal and throw it into space. And just throw it into space. Yeah, if it's from the sea, we can throw it into the astral sea. Do they wear space helmets? No, they don't. Then how are they breathing? But apparently they can survive in the astral sea. So they don't actually breathe? Well, they probably do, but they might have their own envelope of oxygen or they hold their breath for a really long time. Or they don't actually breathe air. Well, that, yeah, they might. I don't know what what would you do. Breathe uh, antimatter. Uh, something. Yeah. yeah. Space dust. Space dust. A- um, astral dust. Anti gravity. No, something. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what do you got here? Overboard. The night walker usually walks at night down the beach, <laughs> perusing the the what? The Tinder machine. The Tinder matches. The Tinder matches. One by really? one. Um, he's, he's, he's trying to give us some law here. I don't know. They're a good-looking miniature so I, can, I reckon they probably would do pretty well on Tinder. <laughs> <laughs> reckon a night walker can get a date? I reckon uh, a night walker, yeah. A night walker can get some fluffy tail. Well, yeah. <laughs> well, Joe reckons they usually have at least four to five dates a night. Um, night wow. Uh, predominantly seen in New Zealand, though. Yeah, the question though is, do the dates survive the date, <laughs> <laughs> or do they really want the date in the first yeah. place? You know, when, I mean? they, when they meet, when they meet. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, is it a blind date? <laughs> <laughs> it would be because it's a da- black, it's so a, you're not going to see them, are you? No, no, no it's at <laughs> yeah. night too. Yeah. yeah. Um, you like the fairy dolphins? Oh, that's right. They put <laughs> dolphins in it as well. Um, Not I, just they have, they've put all the animals yeah, in space. That, that's right, yeah, like, you know, sea animals. They should just call it animals in space. Yeah, animals in space. Space farm. Yeah, pigs in space. Pigs in space. Uh, yeah, you remember that? Yes, <laughs> the Muppet Show. That's right. Yep, I remember. Oh, we got a question. I am that old. <laughs> <laughs> so do I. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, so I see a question from Byron, so I'll read out the question. Let's see what uh, what we get. Question. Were wizards always considered a weaker class? Uh, one YouTuber I watched often does slots where the wizard dies from um, 100, oh, 1d4 damage. Okay, so yeah, wizards have al- always been weak at low level. And they, they really can't hold up to taking a lot of damage. They never had a lot of hit points. The older version of the game, you never had that many hit points full stop. And wizards had... Um, very few hit points and yes you would roll a 1d4 for their for their I think it was a 1d4 to determine their their hit points isn't that the whole purpose of having a party a mixed party though so you've got some sort of a tank that's right that takes because when you when you earn it because a, a, a wizard's defense would probably be its magic that's right yeah not it's not it's because they're not armored are they they're wearing a cloak that's right and yeah so they're not really they're not tough no they're smart yeah, and they had very few spells, and you would run out very fast, but the spells they had were really powerful. Yes. But you only it's sort of like a one-shot wonder sometimes, particularly at level one. But, um, yeah, no, no, wizards really quite soft. The whole and, and David's right. Like, the whole idea behind a wizard is that you, you need the other party members to hide behind, like, um, the pussy that you are mm. until you're powerful enough to blow things up with fireball or um, do other things that are change the very nature of the world. Um, cast. How cool can they become? You can cast Wish. Wish? You never encountered that spell, did you? No. No. So wish basically means you can do anything. Oh, that's but pretty powerful. There's a chance, though, that things might go wrong. You don't suppose that's a little bit overpowerful? Well, it's a ninth level spell. Okay. It's the highest level spell. Okay. Yeah. yeah, fair enough. Yeah, so, yeah. So that's, you know, you're probably not going to get that until you're like level 17, something crazy like that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, so yes, wizards did die very, very quickly. They were a very weak class, and they should be. I like wizards, but I still think they should be a weak class because of they are so careful. That's right. Yeah, uh, particularly at high level. Mm. Yeah, and I mean even even at low level, I mean you can cast. Even Superman's got kryptonite. That's right. You got to have. You see, even Superman's got kryptonite. You got to have a weakness. Yeah. Uh, M fourteen. What do you got here? Uh, who wins a fight? Uh, who wins in a fight, space whales, or a fairy dolphin, or space clowns, or space pirates? What do you think about that? 
Uh, well, I mean, probably space pirates or space clowns. Space pirates, probably, because they got weapons. I don't know about the space pirates. I don't know what they what they do. I don't know either. And um, a fairy dolphin? What does that mean? It's magical? Uh, I don't think it does anything. It probably has a bite. Yeah, but even dolphins don't have that for sharper teeth, really. I mean, no. They, they eat little fish. Or well, they might oh, sort of um, suck on you. Yeah. <laughs> it's about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think... uh, yeah, do they have a space octopus? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I don't. Ah, oh, I can't remember. Um, yeah. yeah, I have had to. Block. I mean, you've got a dolphin and a whale. <laughs> exactly. I'm not entirely sure. Um, I, I'm, I'm saying that probably the, the space whales wouldn't be interested. Mm. The fairy dolphins would probably not be that interested either. Uh, the space clowns, space pirates. Um, I mean, who cares whether the space clowns or the space pirates win or not? Like, <laughs> yeah, 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 I mean, the really if they wipe it. each other out, like, fine, yeah. it's all right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but Jasper, hello, Jasper. Jasper has said that space clowns. He's got the question mark there. Space clowns. That's right. You get space clowns in Spelljammer. A lot. Everything is um, goofy. Trust me. Some things are scary in, spa- uh, in Spelljammer. But hey, there is it. You know. That, that's right. And he's a clown, so you could make a scary space clown. You could, yeah. yeah. Um, what's here? What's this uh, monk you've got here? Freeze hope the chat finds I will send. I sent will. I Okay, Fred hopes the chat finds I sent will. I'm not sure what that means. Um, okay, what's that monk? We'll help you and your brother do uh, more on this type of video and painting. Well... The chance of me and David hanging out after my holidays is probably going to be like four months away if David is available and not busy doing other things. Yeah, the problem is um, I'd love to do this as a full-time job, but it's not a full-time job. Yeah. Um, and then and Fred can't do this as a full-time job yet either, uh, although I'm sure if he had the opportunity to do stuff like this as a full-time job, then he would jump at it um, because, you know, Working for the man is great, that much fun. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Not when you, this is the sort of thing you love, you know? Um, yeah, no, this, no, 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 where I work is not that much fun. Um, I'm certainly keen to get out of it, but I'm also yeah. keen to get rid of my mortgage before the world ends. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm keen to do a lot of things. <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. Uh, what do we got here? Agile Monk, Attack of the Killer Tomatoes. Yeah. Is there Killer Tomatoes in space? I don't know. Um, I remember Humbrol paints. Yeah, Humbrol paints were were the, really the only thing you, you had back in the day for painting um, anything that was like a miniature because there wasn't anything else. Later on, they brought along other paints, but they were quite um, powdery. And you, they dry and they just fall off. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's taken a long time of development for the paints, uh, which yeah. is surprising really because acrylic paints have actually been around for a long time. Mm. Yeah, uh, but but um, you know, yeah. but just keep having them developed, you know, well enough. You might have to move a little bit further forward for them to see sorry. What, what's going. No, you don't have to be sorry. I know you're trying to get the job done here, <laughs> but I, I'm also aware that some people want to actually see what you're doing. Yeah, so yeah. yeah, yeah. Fair um, so what do we got here? Jasper, Killer Clowns from Outer Space is an actual movie. Okay, I thought it was. Um, I don't know why, but I'm scared of clowns. Well, apparently a lot of people are scared of clowns. Yeah, I, can't, I haven't watched the movie, but movies because it freaks me out. Well, I think a few years back there was something that occurred um, over in America where clowns were involved and it sort of oh, ca- caused a bit of hysteria and now clowns are now deemed a... Um, Killer. Ter- um, ter- 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 terrorist. Ter- terrorists, yes. Uh. Um, clowns are now classified as terrorists. The Joker. The Joker what? became real. Well, I suppose, and to a certain scary film. Is it, yeah, Killer Clowns from Outer Space sounds like a scary film. I, <laughs> so what else was there in this book that had monsters and so forth that I thought was weird? Um, my mind has gone blank, but I do remember there were some playable races in the Spelljammer book that you could um, you can be. I'm not terribly fond of what they've done with um, races. By Wizards of the Coast has done some wacky things, but let's let's get let's talk about that briefly. There is a astral elf, of course. Oh yeah, it's an elf that lives in the a- astral, astral sea. planes. Yeah, right. right. Like, of course that had to happen. Yeah. And then um, there's a elder. No, an auto gnome, a robotic gnome. But isn't an astral plane elf? 
basically an elder. Probably, yeah. Yeah, pretty they're, much. They're, they're touching the toes of other things, aren't they? They are, very much so, yeah. And then there's the auto gnome, which is just a robotic gnome. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Um, there is a plasmoid, which is basically you get to play a, a goo or an ooze. Or like a gelatinous... Like a gelatinous, but it sort of looks like a humanoid form. Oh, interesting. But it's just goo. A slime. Oh, you play a As slime. As you would say in manga, but a, a slime, yeah. Mm-hmm. That's right, yeah. So you're playing a slime. That's kind of cool. It is kind of cool. Weird and cool. Very weird. Um, and I believe there were some other playable races, which for the life of me, I really weren't, wasn't that interested at all. So the excited. Elf was really the only basics that they covered, though, eh? Of, yeah. of the main races that have pulled into space. Well, I don't, there wasn't that many playable races added to Spelljammer. Oh, okay. Yeah, um, but there, there, there are some. I think there was also was the. Would we, I think you were able to play a gif, which was like a hip, hippo person with a gun. You're gonna do? You're gonna eat their heads off? Well, I mean, like probably cabbage. bite their heads off. Yeah. Um, so Agile Monk is giving us the stats of the the uh, the Nightwalker. Huge undead, chaotic evil, armor class nineteen, hit points three hundred and forty-five, yeah, speed forty-five feet, cool blimey, um, yeah. So there's a lot, lot going on there. <laughs> I like it. Mm. It's a cool, it's a cool miniature. So it should have a, it should be a cool monster as well. Something that's quite um, freaky when you actually have to come up against it. Yeah. So what would you play? Would you play a hippo person, a plasmoid um, goo person, or a auto gnome, or a astral elf? Uh, either the goo person or the astral elf. Right. Okay. Yeah. I like I, can't, I like the idea of being a, a, a walking slime. <laughs> you might need to bring yourself a little closer. Sorry, dude. Um, yeah. So what have we got here, Jasper? One time I was walking around old old town. Okay, I don't, know, I don't know where is Old Town. Uh, I was just about to turn the corner when some kids wearing clown noses ran out of in front of me and um, I jumped a mile. Right, so they used it as a way of scaring you. I thought they would have tried for something else. We don't really have Halloween here in New Zealand. It's an American thing. We try to, but really, I mean, I do, yeah. No. I never see trick-or-treaters or anything. So. No, no, and, and, and generally if a trick-or-treater comes to the... Um, the door they're probably going to be turned away yeah you have to put a balloon on the um letterbox to indicate that you are willing to participate in the the hordes of kids looking for um junk food yeah yeah it's yeah it is uh, yeah okay. some of i know uh, new zealand does try to copy america in a lot of ways but um yeah there's just so many cool things that you guys do over there <laughs> well i mean it's, it's it's become very much a marketing thing so yeah, we don't yeah. really have people running around trying to scare the bejesus out of each other no uh, that's yeah. That's not um, not a pastime for us here. No. Uh, we do other things. Yeah, we do. We do. Um, we've got um, road rage, so that, 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 that's so you don't need any of that other stuff. No, that's right. So the other thing. <laughs> <laughs> so the so the other thing that we I noticed in this book with the, um, the playable races is there's a couple of backgrounds, but sh- backgrounds are like, like who cares? I believe backgrounds have feats so supposedly feats of Dungeons and Dragons 5e were supposed to be optional you didn't have to use them and now they've deliberately put them in as things that are part of background so now they're not really optional are they no. did you notice that did mm-hmm. you did you see that does it is it obvious to you because you haven't played 5e so but you you, you get the uh, where they're steering it eh? yeah the steering it to you have to use feats now pretty much because they're attached to the backgrounds yeah. I'm not really very very pleased about that I would have been quite happy for them to say oh we have a, this um, background and yes you can have a level one spell and two cantrips and not even mention the feats yeah well, yeah that would have been fine um, again I still feel like they're trying to push um, the backgrounds into having combat features rather than just being what they are supposed to be, background stuff. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Defeats the purpose of having a background. Yeah. Um, what do you got here, Jasper? Uh, my supervisor doesn't uh, let me um, decorate for Halloween anymore. She thinks I take um, it too far. Fair enough, fair enough. Uh, M14. In Spelljammer... Um, Orbis, what's that? 
is it Forbes? Forbes or Orbs? Medium abbreviation. Okay, I'm not sure. Orbs, medium. I'm not sure what that means. M14, I have no idea. My last attempt was the um, the murder cake. I don't want to ask about the murder cake. Okay, I'm not going to ask about the murder cake. I've mentioned it, that's it. So this book also has spell jammer ships, a whole bunch of them. Yep. Um, it has like how they work, which is good. It's kind of like the, the stat block for the spaceships when you, you guys were playing um, Star Wars Saga. Oh, okay. Yep, like that. But they also have the deck plans. Really? Yeah, yeah, you get the deck plans as well. That's cool. Well, and if you didn't get the deck plans, it'd, it'd suck. Because you want the deck plans, right? You do. You do want the deck plan. So, but would you guess? I want you to guess what type of spell jammer ships did you think they created? Ships, ships. That's how are they? Because they've already thrown animals into space. So it's like, how far are they willing to go? Um, are they turn, are they using like um, sea ships and turning them into spaceships? Or yeah, yeah. There's a, there's a ship that's kind of like a sea ship that's a spaceship, like the Jolly Roger. Well, kind of, yeah, like that, yeah, yeah. Yep. Ships that can go in astral space and go on to water, sail on water. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Um, there's a lot of insects, and would you believe it, animal-based, um, sea-fearing, sea-living creatures. A lot of, that you can travel on. A lot of fish, a lot of fish and birds. and Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you can travel on them. Yeah, yeah, it's basically shaped like that and, and that thing. Like, you that's remember, cool. You remember Lex and they had the dragonfly? Yeah, yeah, that's right, yeah. Living ships. Yeah, like, yeah. Like, well, um, they kind of look like that. What was that from in that other show? Was it, it wasn't Lex, it wasn't Lex, it was the other one. Um, that that um, one that had the Jim Henson's puppets in it. Uh, Jim Henson puppets. And it was a space show with the Australian actor, the guy, and then the British <sighs> woman. I don't remember it. I don't remember it. He came oh, from Earth. Far, far Cry? No. Um, Farscape. 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 Yes. That's it. Farscape. Farscape. That was a living ship, sort of. It had a living um, living pilot. Yeah. As part of the ship. Thanks to the croissant, um, Jasper. <laughs> 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 the Nautilus, uh, as a Nautiloids, is the best ship. So the Nautiloid... Uh, is it Nautiloids, Nautiloids, or whatever the heck it is? I bl- believe they are um, ships that are controlled by mind flayers. Oh, wicked! Yes, that's right. So if you see them and they're coming up next to you, you're going to lose your brain. So you can't have one? Well, you could probably, if you can manage to kill all the mind flayers on there, which is asking a lot. Um, if the crew is it's crewed by mind flayers, they're going to be causing a lot of pain. Yeah, but that's such a cool idea. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So, yes. Um, it's not like Nemo's um, submarine or anything like that. No, no, mind flyers, man. Mind flyers. That's very cool. Mind flyers on ships. Yes, I like it. Uh, there is a, yeah, so there's a bunch of different things there. I'm glad that they put so many different options in there. I'm just curious as to, and there's a few rules around how um, traveling in space or as the astral sp- um, sea works. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah if, or spell jamming which okay. is basically just sailing around in space basically isn't it <laughs> yeah it's the same thing yeah it's the same thing so we've got that and then um, can I remember some of the other monsters that they were were in there it, oh I need a drink of water uh, let's just grab that right let's do some turquoise now okay yep. so the tu- you're breaking out the turquoise where's that going that's going to be the glowing coming from his hand so it'll go in his hand and it will reflect onto him, onto his chest and his face. Okay. Yep. Turquoise, glowing hand. Yep. Got it. Uh, so I believe that there is a giant space hamster, obviously. Yeah, didn't you create the giant ha- space hamster? No, 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 no. The giant space hamster is a... Um, oh, the killer hamster. Yeah, m- mine was just a, uh, a giant, giant hamster. killer hamster, not a giant space hamster. Fair enough. Yeah. So that's a different different thing. Slight slight variation. It doesn't breach um, intellectual property. <laughs> yeah, you yeah. know what I mean? You know, not not yet anyway. Um, yes. Unless um, Wizards of the Coast decides that they need to have giant killer hamsters as a as an IP that nobody else can actually have as well. If you create it as your own IP first, then they'll have to buy it off you. Well, you know, uh, I don't know. I think their 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 lawyers would be better than mine since I don't have one. True. True. Yeah. Exactly. 
Um, M14. All the mine flayers, uh, no, one mine flayer captain, many people being controlled. All ah, right, so we, so the, the Nautiloids would only have one mine flayer captain and, and a whole lot of other creatures being controlled by that mine flayer captain. That would make sense, yeah, because the mine flayers, yeah, it's a mine controller. Now, M14, that sounds far more reasonable. The only problem is that if I were to do it in a game, the entire crew would be mine flayers. Um... Because there's, there's, there's no way I want uh, a Nautiloid to be an easy push over for the players to be able to take over. They, they're going to have to do something pretty impressive to be able to make that work. Mine flyers are pretty bad, aren't they? They are, uh, yeah. So if you know a bunch of them, I mean. Yeah, exactly, yeah. But then again, you know, I would expect that to show up at like higher level, where, yeah. where, where, I, where I, I don't have to worry about um, being gentle. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what else was there? There was the... Oh, vamp pirates. Vam- the vampire pirates? That's right. In space. That's right. That's cool. <laughs> and you can be them? No. Oh. No, no, apparently not. No. Oh. They're, they're basically pirates that have just decided they just don't want to stop doing their thing. And so they're called vamp pirates. <laughs> don't don't there laugh. Are immortal pirates that can also suck your blood. <laughs> In space. In space. In space. Yeah. Why not? Yeah. Why yeah. not? <laughs> Yeah. Does it? Do you have you noticed a pattern here where we we simply take things from somewhere else and just plant the word space or astral on it? Yeah, yeah, and that's what they're doing. <laughs> the creative team is um, yeah. They, if they had you, they might be, you, you could do the entire team's work. Well, I mean, it sounds a lot like sort of thing you'd do. Yeah, yeah. So we need a, a <laughs> the next thing. You're going to have to move forward a little bit, I think. Yep. Um, I think the next thing we need to have is like an astral octopus. Cause you, I know. Yeah, that's astral. actually really important. Because there's that, um, that, that big flipping um, um, octopus demon thing in um, Hellboy. That's right. Well, actually, so why not in um, Dungeons & Dragons? Yeah, well, let's let's just call it the the astral kraken. There probably is an astral kraken. Oh, yeah, that'd it, be cool. There's probably an astral kraken. I yeah. think there is an astral kraken. That is a cool idea. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the sort of thing that uh, murder comets. There's actually murder comets in that book that they they printed. Well, how does that work? It's a comet that tries to murder you by crashing into your ship. Um, <laughs> Isn't that what comets do anyway? Well, I, I mean, it's going to murder you if it hits your ship, <laughs> yeah. isn't it? You're going to hit a comet. Your ship's going to get destroyed. So they just named a comet a murder comet. Yeah, I know. I know. It's like oh, oh. Well, they murder you when they hit your ship. So we'll just call them murder comets. It was better when they were taking drugs, the them designers, honestly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> at, least, at least some of the stuff was relatively, yeah. I mean, there was an excuse for it, for it being silly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, there's no excuses. There's no excuse because they're not actually, not actually high. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, dear. Um, what have we got here? Uh, M14. Good amount of stuff the uh, Mind Flayer could... Um, could collect, okay, from any of the uh, planes of existence. Crew could be uh, two two T-Rexes, five Beholders, two Albiers. Where are you going to fit a T-Rex on a Spelljammer ship? How big is the ship? Uh, well, some of them are big, but I'm, I mean... I, I think it's just. I think. What are you going to do with it? Well, I mean, exactly. It's just going to eat everyone, isn't it? Um, well, that's <laughs> like a murder comet. Well, not only that, there's two of them, so they can. They can that's very similar to a murder comet. <laughs> <laughs> just a lot more blood. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, everybody's snack size. Jurassic Park in space on a ship. Uh, in yeah. Dungeons and Dragons. In, in Dungeons and yeah. Dragons. Oh, is that coming next? That'll be yeah. the next book. Yeah. That's a Spielberg one. <laughs> Steven Spielberg's Dungeons and Dragons, Jurassic Park in space. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> so you're putting the turquoise into the face, I see. Yeah, it's just I'm just trying to get it like a, an effect of it glowing off his hand onto him. So I'll try and wherever the light would hit him. Okay. You get it onto there. Um, sure. And give him a bit of a glowy effect. Cool, cool. Yeah, looks good. All right. So, uh, so we we've had murder comets. We've had. <laughs> T- it, re- T- re- uh, Jurassic Park in space? Well, that was somebody just suggesting that what could be the crew. Uh, I don't think that was actually in the book, but, I mean, who knows? Maybe I don't know. I just think why, when, when you're getting to that point, why as well just go, why not? Let's, you know, mm-hmm. let's just get, let's get crazy. Mm-hmm. So, so, 
Killer caterpillars. That's, right. That's nice. <laughs> Killer caterpillars in yep. space, yeah. So there, <laughs> there was a, a video, a live stream I did on a, a really old spelljammer monster called the Fire Lich. And the Fire Lich is basically when a wizard is preparing to become a lich and they stuff it up so badly they explode and turn into a fire lich. Um, and they're constantly on fire and in agony. And so they just fly around in astral space. And for some strange reason, they are convinced that smashing themselves headlong, because it's just a head on fire, basically, yeah. um, smashing themselves into a ship, not an asteroid, but a spell jammer ship specifically, will put out the fire and they will have some some you know relief another variation of a murder comet that's pretty much it and and actually smashing themselves into the ship doesn't put them out at all but they forget every single time because of the head blow and trauma <laughs> so they do that again they survive it and they survive it they, they survive go, the crash well they go straight through the ship don't oh, they oh wow <laughs> it's on fire and it's a skull <laughs> so there's two holes one at the top and one at the bottom yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and they just keep flying around endlessly, <laughs> smashing themselves into um, <laughs> into spell jammer ships, taking them that out. That reminds me of the screaming goats. Oh. I don't know why, but that reminds me of the screaming goats. Aimlessly flying around on fire, mm -hmm. forgetting their, losing their memory every time they hit a ship. Like a pinball machine in space. <laughs> <laughs> uh. All right, what do we got here? Um, Adriel Monk is commenting on your painting here. Your excellent layer of the paint uh, related to the blues is far better than what most people do with black only. Great job on the painting. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah, I really appreciate that. Yep. David's not your average painter. I can tell you that now. <laughs> there, 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 are, there are things that are pretty amazing that are in boxes because he ran out of space to put everything. Yeah, I, I have stuff at home. It's, um, I showed you, I showed you last night a couple of things I've got work to work on. Eh? Yes, but um, I don't know how long I'll, when I'll get it to, onto them because Fred's going to be giving me stuff. Well, hopefully, and I'll, be, I'll be I'll be like, yeah, I'll paint that. Yeah, buddy. He finished those first, and then you can move on to other things. Get your things done. You've got only two things left there. Yeah, I also have a three hundred and seventy millimeter size dragon coming. Yeah, but that hasn't arrived yet. It's New Zealand, man. It could take it forever. Could take forever, but it's coming from the U Farm model store, and they're actually quite quick with the shipping. Okay, are they? Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, you know, dragon, dragons. It just means that you've got other things to paint later on. Sometimes you... things that come from China come faster than things that come from Mighty Ape and Albany, in the same city that I'm in. <laughs> we're not. We're not actually in the city though. We are slightly out You're of the city. Slightly out of the city, but how, how how close are we to Albany though? Really? We're not that far. Yeah, it's about thirty-five minutes, forty minutes. If you don't break the speed limit. It's, it's closer than China, right? Eh? Right, it's certainly closer than China. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 And I prefer buying stuff from China because they're faster. Yeah, yeah. And, and apparently China is quite along the way from New Zealand. Um, it's, it's not close. It's not close, no. It's a 14-hour flight. So <laughs> it's, not as close, it's not as close as Albany is um, to, to Helensville. Yeah, we can drive there. We can't drive to, um, to China. Not yet. No, no. When there's a bridge, maybe. Or they make cars that they and they're making cars that drive on water. Drive on water. Yep. Uh, yeah. Well, well, but the only problem is, would we get, when, once we get to China, would they let us leave again? No. Probably not. Yeah. And we eat interesting foods. Um, I'm not eating any food there. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> um, who's your guest? Oh, so um, Nicola. Oh, should I sorry, Gabby. I, um, I, uh, I keep forgetting it's Gabby. Uh, this is my brother, David. Hi, how are you going? David is doing the painting today, and I'm trying not to distract him too much. I'm really Very trying. Very impossible for you. Mate, I'm f awful at this job. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's not You're working. good at distracting, though. Yeah, yeah. That's a great job for you. Yeah, I'm trying to, I'm trying to not distract you and talk and um which is actually distracting you yep. and trying to use hand signals to say you need to paint faster yep. um when i distract you yeah yeah yeah. so it's like two max messages i like i'm surprised you haven't thumped me at this present yeah yeah i'm surprised <laughs> it's actually looking so good <laughs> <laughs> um there's an there's an asteroid spider yeah, cr15 i like it yeah yep I, Yep, it like basically it. looks like an asteroid. It folds itself up. It looks like an asteroid, then it unfolds and then clings onto a, um, a oh, space jammer like ship. Those, it's like those spiders that look a bit like rocks. Yes. 
and you can't see them they look like a stone and then it just opens out yeah and then it does its business it does its business yeah, yeah that's a great idea camouflaging spider in space that's cool sounds dangerous um it is now eldritch lich, lich in the the new one um i don't know if the i think the eldritch lich is actually in the free pdf i don't know if it's in the book i don't didn't remember seeing it in the actual book but I, I mean, I, I did look through the page. Somebody did a page flip through. Fortunately, a page flip through of three books and they're only got 64 pages is not that hard to do. Uh, <laughs> stop laughing. <laughs> I just keep thinking about Sam and his 650 page. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and in a week. In a week, yeah. One and, man. One person. 650 pages in a week. Yeah, and, and they managed to... And he's not working for um, Wizards of the Coast or anything. No. Nah. just, I don't understand. Uh, yeah, and, and they managed to pull off 64 pages, three books at each one. How long does it take for them, these guys to bring these things Oh, a long time. Out? Long, yeah. long yeah. time. And teams of people? Mm hmm. Yeah. Teams of people. Teams mate. of people. Yeah, there's people involved. Yes. <laughs> um, I think the Eldritch Lich is a pretty cool looking monster. I haven't, um, I haven't actually shown David what it looks like. It's. The compendium, yeah, that's right, that new compendium. Has anybody noticed that the spell jammer or monster compendium has only got one release? There's been one volume released. How is, long? Is there ago? miniatures for these? These? Is no, there? no, oh. no, no miniatures at present. They they are putting Wizards, uh, Wizkids is putting out miniatures for the stuff that's in the monster manual, as far as I can tell. Yeah. Uh, which is the, um, Boo's menagerie. Boo is, Boo's. Cold. I want to see. I want to see the space. Um, this, this astral spider thing. Right. And um, um, a, a space kraken. A space kraken. Yep. I want to see all the cool stuff. I mean, I am a painter though, so I want. To, I want to be able to paint them. Could you? Could you actually include like a an astral crack, in a spell gemmer um, adventure? I think you could. I mean, essentially, that would be a crack in space. <laughs> <laughs> did you get it yes <laughs> yeah, okay all right it took a while <laughs> it's a plumber joke it's a plumber joke <laughs> it's, a, it's a plumber joke yeah so there are plumbers in space yeah, yeah, yeah that's where all of the space plumbers come from yeah, yeah, <laughs> from yeah. from the astral crack yeah. <laughs> uh, dear. well you know everyone you know they've got to go to the toilet somewhere so they just need a plumber for the fixing it and that's where all of the astral krakens have to come from yes. as well from the crack from the crack mm. from novus yeah, yeah. It, it's um, it's a, it's, a, it's a little bit like a monster coming out of somebody's crack. Oh, I should probably be careful. We're gonna lose people. We are gonna lose people. <laughs> okay, I'm going too fast. Stop. <laughs> okay, stop. Okay, so um, M14. What do you got here? Uh, great looking at um, clockwork horror. Oh, the clockwork horror. Yes, basically, a metal, um, metal gear to fight. It's it's a it's a metal bug basically, isn't it? The clockwork horror is essentially a a bug that replicates, makes more of itself. You know, you remember in, in Lex, there's that um, little insectoid robot thing that just makes more and more of itself until eventually it sort of takes over everything. Yes. Yeah. That's it's funny because I hardly remember the show, but I don't. Rem I do remember that. Yeah, because it was so it's been terrifying. A long time ago. It was a terrifying concept. Yeah. Yeah, and they 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 caused a lot of trouble. They wiped out everything. Yeah, they were a pretty main pretty main bad guy in the in the in the show. Eh? Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to just pull a bit of ground into the horns and stuff as well. Do I need the do, do I, astral crack? Do you mean the obsidian hole? Oh, oh, he's oh, well done. I see where you went, went with that one. Um, I'm not going to answer that question. I'm going to let everybody use their imagination because it's Dungeons and Dragons. You got to use your imagination. Yes. Yeah. So, what else was there in terms of? Um, wacky things well you can actually fight plasmoids so they had a whole bunch of plasmoids included in the in the book as well which i thought was interesting um you can play one and you can fight one uh, i'm i'm not entirely sure uh, there's gif as well so the, the giant hippo people or the, the hippo people you can they have firearms gif really yeah they shoot you with muskets really i mean i would have thought it would be laser guns but no this is Dungeons and Dragons Spelljammer, so you apparently musket muskets are the the thing, or musket like or flintlock um, um, pistols of some kind. Are the thing. Didn't we have that in our adventure in space? Muskets. Uh, I tried to avoid having um, guns. I I remember somebody tried to get guns in there, 
Uh, but I remember I tried to make them as difficult to use as possible. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Otherwise, because it was just like a oh, it's basically, it's basically magic, okay? Eh? Yeah. Well, the, the, I think the I think the issue was I want to have a gun, a laser gun that does um, ten d ten damage every time I fire it. Do you know what I mean? Like, okay, I, I when I shoot my laser gun, I want it to kill everything it touches. Predator. Yeah, like yeah, basically, yeah, I want it to blow off the head, uh, oh, put a hole through. You haven't seen that it. yet, have you? I haven't seen no, Prey. no, I haven't seen Prey. It's so good. Ah, what are you doing with the horns there? Just um, getting the greys in. The greys. Yep. So I'll be I'll be doing dark into light, and then I'll do some of the reflection of this glow onto it. So what greys are you using? Phantom grey, grey Z, and light grey, all okay. from Vallejo. Okay. Yep. Cool, cool. Good to know. Keeping up with the tram, the, uh, the the painting um there. Yep. So um yeah, so it's. Yeah, I, I think when a player wants, you know, 10d10 damage or for the gun to literally put a hole through the creature and kill it instantly, maybe it's going too far. And if the dungeon master says, nah, um, chew on sticks, I'm not doing that, is probably relatively reasonable as a response. Yeah. Which is what I did essentially. Yeah, well, yeah, it's, 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 um, it's, it defeats the purpose of the whole thing. Yeah, I also had the gun potential to try to blow up as well. That's right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was, um, it was a, um, a chance for it to misfire and explode. Yep, and it did. <laughs> Actually, yes, it did. Yeah. It didn't kill him, though. No, it did oh, a lot of damage. It, it almost did, though. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, the Great Old Ones. Um, D20 for its form. And that one, it's Cthulhu. Yep, yep, you could go with that. <laughs> you could have a lot of Cthulhu in um, Spelljammer but I mean I think uh, the Astral Sea is the place of craziness like this is where you could find a giant donut um, that has been used as a spaceport <laughs> you know or you could wind up finding uh, the Good for a snack stop. <laughs> yes yeah 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 stop by it gets smaller and smaller over time yeah yeah uh, yeah, or it's unedible because it's been floating in space for so long. Yeah. It's preserved, but you t- you break your teeth trying to eat it. Yeah, yeah, it's preserved. Yeah, that's a good idea. But no, I was thinking, um, what about the... Uh, well, I was thinking, and I've just lost my train of thought, so that doesn't help. Yeah. Uh, back to Predator. Back Yeah, so you were talking about Predator. Prey, yes. Prey. Um, it's actually got such high reviews, 92% on my um, Rotten Tomatoes. Mm-hmm. It's been de- um, deemed as the best Predator movie since the original with Arnold Schwarzenegger in it. Okay, so not as good as the original? It's on par with it, they reckon. Okay. It's on par with it. It's the same same sort of um, feeling that you get from it. Um, so, um, And I've seen it, so um, I would say it is, since the original, the best I've seen. Because all the ones I've seen after it, I mean, the second one was okay, mm. um, but but uh, it's really like a Predator movie. Okay. Yeah, I enjoyed it, and it's also um, his weapons are different because it's um, back in time a bit. Okay. So he's not he's not all laser guns and stuff. And now is it, um, is it Jesse Ventura who was in the first one? He's the one who had the the big, huge um, Gatling gun. Walked around with the Gatling gun. Oh, there's no weapons like that in this. No, well, um, he's he played that, um, that. That was Jesse Ventura. Um, he was the um, the seal. The big Mexican, uh, the big um, cowboy guy with the cowboy hat. That's right. Yeah. Gatling gun. Yeah. Yeah. Chewed tobacco and. Yeah. Yeah. Ugh, yeah. He's he's commented. He reckons that the the new um, predator, uh, predator movie um, Prey is supposed to be pretty good. He thought it was. Uh, it is cool because it's it's, uh, it's American Indians versus a predator. Oh, okay. Not only that, it's a coming of age for a, for a, a young female. Mm-hmm. So she's like a, um, a heroine. So mm-hmm. it's, it's a strong female character mm-hmm. who gets hassled by the guys in the village. Oh, okay. And um, because she wants to be a hunter, right? And she's, and she's, she's female, so yeah. But so she but she so she has to prove herself. Okay. And um, the predator gets involved in all that, and there's all sorts of big animals and stuff involved in it as well. Okay. So it's um, and then there's also um, some colonials from somewhere. I'm not sure they're French or something. I don't know. But they, they come in with their guns and stuff as well, and they're trying to. Let's not give away too much. Yeah. Yeah, let's not give away too much because I might have to come over and watch that with you sometime. Yeah, tonight maybe. Uh, That's we'll right. see. We'll see. We'll see. I've 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 got to catch up on my, all my homework that I've been falling behind on. 
Got a sense from though. Okay. It's yeah. good. It's well, good. Well, before I go on um, off back to work, I'll, I'll come over and yeah, yeah. watch that movie. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah, but I got I got to make sure I get these other things done. I'm supposed to be doing a class on how to make homebrew magic items for your Dungeons and Dragons 5e game. And um, I need to get the tutorial sorted out. How powerful can you make them? Well, well that, the problem is, is 5e is not designed to have uh, magic items. In fact, you don't really need them at all. And so it, it's really difficult to make magic items in 5e without just... You don't just, need them? No, your, your characters are powerful enough you don't really need them at all. A monk can punch something at uh, level, is it level five or six? Yeah. And their, their fists are considered magical. Every time they hit somebody, they, it, there's a magical attack. A monk? Yes. Oh, but what about magic swords and shields? And well, you don't, you don't need it. Paladin has got um, smite. They do radiant damage with anything that they decide to smite with. And they can do that really soon. I think that's like... I don't think Rosie's going to like that. No, probably not. Well, what are you going to hoard? She's all about hoarding stuff. Well, I know. Magic, magic um, items were one of her favourite things to hoard. I, I know. Yeah, you're going to have to you're going to have to move it forward because you're you're the thing is standing so tall now, and the camera is struggling to see. Yeah, okay. but you're doing well. Nice, nice horns there, by the way. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> um, what's that, Gabby? Uh, and Nat two. What regular great old fun? I suppose. Sure. What are they? A um, great old one is basically a uh, a being, a very powerful being. And I think the great old ones are sort of very Cthulhu-like. So a lot of tentacles. That's like the the, the monster in um, Hellboy. That's right. Yeah. Exactly. They're massive. Yeah. Exactly. Have they got a miniature for it? Don't think so. Oh come on, man. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's actually a great old one is a priest. Oh, okay, yeah, well, yeah, absolutely. It sounds very... The priest turns into this Cthulhu-like octopusy eye-covered thing. Yeah, yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah. And big. And big. Yeah. yeah. Eventually it grows. Wait, there's one in... Um, um, Hellboy? There's one in Hellboy, but there's one... There's, <laughs> yeah, yeah. There's also one in the Multiverse of Madness at the start of the film, remember? Yes, there is. That's right, there is. There's something there. That was a tentacled eyeball thing that went invisible. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And it was cool too, and it was quite big. Yeah, that was in the trailer. It was in the trailer. It was in the trailer. No, I'm pretty sure it was. Yeah, it was in the trailer. Yeah, that's it? right. Yeah, it's the yeah. first thing he sort of faces up again, and it was mm. cool, man. Yeah, it was cool. I like it. Uh, what's this? Um, are you talking about the 2018 Predator movie? Uh, no, we're actually no, a... no, no. It's just come out on Disney Plus. Uh, yeah. um, only like last week. Mm -hmm. um, that 2018. It's it's far better than that. Mm -hmm. It's far better. The 2018 movie was 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 terrible. Was, um, yeah. <laughs> but it also had a lot of other problems, not just the terrible nature of the story. And it's not just that. Even this, even the the, the um the um one of the the actress, uh, um, the, the actress on there got treated like crap, and it's just yeah. it's got a lot of bad. It's got a bad rap. That movie, bad reputation. Yeah, because they're, yeah, obviously. Olivia Munn, I think it was. Yeah, yeah that's and right. She's awesome, and she got totally underutilized in it, and um. The story wasn't very good. Oh, no, this is just absolutely blows that out of the water. Okay, good to know. Tenfold, yeah. Good to know. It's, it's really cool. All right. Um, so there's supposed to be a Citadel class ship in the Spelljammer book. I, I'm, I'm, I'm not entirely sure what that means, but when I have the book, because it's not actually available in New Zealand yet, I don't think it's available for anybody until the, is it the 16th? Uh, We're getting closer of this month. Oh, that's this week. This weekend. Uh, no, next, next week, just the next, start of next ne week. Next week for yeah. us. Yeah. yeah, but, I mean, that doesn't mean that we'll get access to it as fast as everybody else. No, That's just not, Yeah, it's exactly right. Um, M14, what do you got here? I'll let you steal one of my um, uncle's items. Uh, he made a ring of identify. Oh, well, now that's actually a very clever magic item because a ring of identify means that you, do, you don't have to worry about casting the Identify spell, which was never really too much of an issue for ritual casters anyway, as long as they had a pearl worth 100 gold pieces. Mm. And so you could just spend 10 minutes plus the spell level, which was like one minute. So it's 11 minutes and you've got your, um, I think it was, is it one minute? Or is it was the, the time of the spell plus 10 minutes? So that's 
six seconds plus one ten minutes that's how long it takes to cast the ritual i think that's right i am i'm in a live stream and my brain is like a mess and i'm trying to keep things straight okay if i'm getting it wrong but i like the idea of a ring of identification because that actually seems very much like an item that would be a rosy not, item yeah but it's to find cool stuff it wouldn't it wouldn't be a big issue to have it in the game because it's not like it's going to undermine the game are you sure because it wouldn't if what if you want to keep a um a, a, um, a monster secret but you can identify it. No, no, Ring of Identify. Identify spell just identifies if something's magical or not. Oh, okay. It just identifies the properties of a magic item. Only an item? Generally, yeah. Okay. You can't use um, um, Identify. Oh, you can use it on other things, but it's usually objects rather than... Out of curiosity, though. Yeah. We just talked about magic items being completely... You don't, not, not even existent. Not we don't. Well, they no, they do exist. They have lots of them. But you, as a as a player, you don't really need them because you you're so powerful. So then what's the point? I know, I know. Uh, so you just wind up being more powerful. It's like just, a, uh, it's like a nuclear arms race, dude. Uh, <laughs> it's <laughs> yeah. a fantasy game. Yeah, they managed to put a nuclear arms They're race. Turning into it into forty k. Yeah. Um, imagine, uh, imagine Talkie the toaster. From Red Dwarf, but he identify, but but he identify everything he sees. Talky the toaster. <laughs> I haven't seen Red Dwarf in a long uh, time. No, I haven't watched that either for ages. Yeah. The first couple of episode, um, episodes or seasons, I think maybe the first or second season I watched. I know Sam loves that show. Yeah. 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 But I don't know. I, I always kind of I was always confused as to how how the hell did the um the cat um evolve into a human. That's right. Yeah. I always thought he was a vampire too. Well, and I he was, he's a cat. He's he was a cat. cat. Yeah, it's confusing. I was so like, cat what, human. What, what was going on here? <laughs> so, so yeah, a bit confusing for me. Um, how are we doing here, dude? It looks like you're you're hoofing it. I'm hoofing it. Mm -hmm. Understanding a bit of details to the hoofs. Well, gross. we've been at this for uh, just over an hour. Do you, do you, do you, do you, <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, that's it's like that, dude. Yeah, that's like that. It's going to take us like another two sessions, easy. Yeah, I think so. I, I think, think so. so. It's yeah. all right. He's, he's looking pretty cool. I'll put him down in a second. Yeah. Right. Uh, so let's do a show off. I will. Um, I'll go move myself around so you can see OBS, so you're not getting the the laggy um, version of things, and you can show them what you've done. Yep. Alright, so that'll that'll make it a little bit easier. So you wanna just maneuver it so they can see what's there. Still a bit of stuff to do, but um, he's coming along. It's it's quite cool. It's because it's such it's such a big area to paint. How do I get the ah uh, yes. Here we go. Okay, all right, we're all good. Well, thank you, David. No problem. And uh, thank you for everybody who's been hanging out with us. Yeah, it's been great. It's been fun. It is, it's been fun every time, that's why I keep coming back. <laughs> so you'll be back tomorrow to continue? Yeah, it's fun. Yeah, 12 o'clock, same time? Same time. Same time, same bat channel, same... Same idiots behind the microphone. That, that's, <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, that's right, same people. Yeah. So, um, look, thank you to um, Agile Monk for the huge $50... Yeah, far out, man. That's super sick. Um, absolutely amazing, eh? Yeah. Blown away. Yep. Uh, and um, <laughs> I have to say thank you to all my patrons. I have some noticed there's a lot more patrons uh, that have signed up, which is, like, awesome, even though I'm not actually running any... Lost my Fandelva or anything really, and just been doing this right. Like how that happened, I'm just really glad it's happening anyway. Um, so I, I've got to get to, to work very shortly. But thank you for everybody who's been hanging out and watching the live streams and my videos. I do appreciate it. Thank you very much. And uh, wherever you are in the world, whether it be the morning, the afternoon, the night, or the wee wee early morning, please look after yourself, your family, and your friends. And be nice to your neighbours. And keep rolling those twenties. That means keep rolling those 20s. Is keep it? rolling those 20s. Right, okay. Yep. All right, we'll do that. Let's <laughs> <laughs> uh, end this poll. Oh. Right. And waiting. Yep, do it. Um, what should we say this time? Well, some sort of thank you. Um... <laughs> Thank you.
What is that? Boop boop. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Okay. All right, you. <laughs>